Hi everybody, Brian here. I'm doing a pickups video pretty late Sunday night. Um, I was in the process all weekend of moving stuff around in my apartment, and so I didn't really have time. So everything's still kind of in, in the shoveled in my game room here. But I will go through what I picked up, uh, starting with some Xbox games. I picked up The Suffering. This is like a survival horror game. I remember when this came out. I think this is for PS2 as well. And basically you're in a prison and you have to escape, I believe. I also picked up Jaws Unleashed. And this is kind of cool because you actually play as Jaws, not somebody trying to hunt Jaws. So you see on the back, it looks pretty neat. Moving on to the NES games I got. I picked up two. Uh, an original black box game called Wrecking Crew. Never had it. And I also picked up a game called Target Renegade. Oh, I have two other boxed NES games I got. Um, the Untouchables. Based on the movie with Kevin Costner and Sean Connery. There's also an Untouchables based on the t television series, too, for the NES. And Championship Bowling. Okay, I picked up some Genesis games. An RPG called Fatal Labyrinth. This is complete in box with instruction manual. Um, looks kind of interesting. Green Dog, and I remember playing this at a friend's house. This is by Naughty Dog, I think, software. I think Naughty Dog made this, I'm not sure. But anyway, I believe it's the same people who made... Un um, Uncharted. I could be mistaken, but this is one of their early games, I think. I uh, picked up Gods. And it's kind of interesting, somebody actually didn't have a case, so they taped on the... Or they didn't have the plastic part on the case, so they taped it on. I'll have to repair it with a case, an actual case I have. DJ Boy, and this is kind of weird. It's made by a company called Kaneko. I've never heard of them. Um, there's not even any screenshots on the back to tell you what it's like. So I'm interested to try this out. That's my Genesis ones I got. For the Master System, I got quite a few Master System games boxed. Let's start off with Altered Beast. Now this came out on the Genesis, everybody knows, but I didn't know there was a Master System version. It's one player only, though, which is kind of weird. Picked up Bomber Raid. And this is kind of cool, because I thought it was a Genesis game, because it has that kind of grid look to it. But it is a Master System game, and it's a shoot 'em up It almost looks like 1942, 1943. Picked up California games. Got... Got it for the Master System. Got it last week for the NES. Now I have it for the Master System. Conceden. And this looks like a two-player or a one-player beat-em-up. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it's an, yeah, an action game, so it would be. Excuse me. Rescue Mission, this looks like almost like an Akari Warriors clone or Guerrilla Warfare or Commando type of game. And it looks like you're on oh you're on a you're on one of these um, rail pump cars all the time, which is kinda interesting. Oh, it's a light phaser game. Hmm. No, I'm not sure. I could be completely off with this game, but it's completely different to what I thought, according to the back of the box. And I picked up World Grand Prix. Typical racing game. Look at the graphics. They look pretty good. The Master System was able to do, I believe, a little bit better graphics than the NES. But a lot of the games I've been collecting for Master System, because I never had one as a kid, never even knew about one until later. But that's everything I got this week. Um, getting ready to go to bed and start a new week, and I hope everybody has a great week ahead, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.